All right, you haul out. <sighs> you haul out. Don't forget to put on your COVID mask, people. Lark, it's funny, I hate it. I actually hate it, but that's why I stuck, right? We won't go there. That little funny guy used to be addicted to this show called Vampire Diaries. If you know my brother, what you do, he makes up a nickname for everybody. So long story short, there was this guy named Alaric in the show, which I never saw, so I don't know really much. Lark for short, and I just started getting pissed. I'm like, dude, don't call me that shit. Don't call me that shit. Yeah, I don't know, I hate it but I gotta embrace it and run with it now. So I'm like. Oh yeah, so this is, uh, I closed on a new house uh, about a week and a half ago. That was a hefty purchase, but um, a happy purchase too. I still don't know which key's which. We had a long night last night, so. I pretend I work out, so I have all this stupid fitness stuff over there, but I never use it. <laughs> we got this bedroom set up as like the mini, mini studio room. Evan's got my cymbals, so my kit's pretty naked. Pool table kitchen, little, pretty much the hangout room is where everybody pretty much is. And then come into like the dining room. I brought kind of the low budget. Actually, I got this from the Surf Expo. Some booth was just throwing it away and we literally were like, what, you're giving them this table away? He's like, yeah, man, take it. So, <laughs> Surf Expo dining room table. I got a little fridge out here too, which um, uh, I'm gonna grab a, uh, oh, this is perfect timing. Grab me a little energy supply right here. Oh, this is, a, this is our first official band. This is harder than Nunchucks. So we got Ian Atkins, Evan McGee, and then Zach Marks is working right now, but he's coming, he's our bassist. So that, that little bastard will never lift anything. So we gotta lift all his gear every time. We pretty much set up, he walks in, rip in, fails. Oh yeah, we'll break down for you too. We got our main set and then we're gonna have to like kind of fit in and play some reggae stuff and that. You know. <laughs> We've been playing, in the last night we played the U-Haul. We still have the U-Haul. I didn't even call the, uh, the place, but we're already a day over now. Ripping. I can actually get kind of crafty in the kitchen. I know this doesn't really show my true potential, but... Claymation, and the whole re the whole reason behind it was because I'm a, I'm a big fan of magnaplasm. So we're like, oh yeah, let's make a claymation. We literally made this thing too detailed. It took probably like eight hours plus for like not even 30 seconds. And, but it was fun. It was like once it was done, it came out and it was cool. But I was like, dude, like just to imagine like real like in depth claymations and stuff. my own heart with that but like it was a heartbreak that I got over but we're great friends she's doing her thing and I'm doing my thing we're both like really good friends and I'm happy for her and yeah she's happy for me and and you guys fucking invited her to the stab high thing yeah thanks bro <laughs> waves are pretty junky here obviously but I have like really good boards right now from uh, Slater Designs. Like this is like a 5.11 and it's a round tail, but it's like just goes off. So this is like my normal shortboard, whatever. These are like, I love these. This is an album, uh, 6.3. I don't know exactly what he calls it, but it's just like a twin fin. I like to ride the keel in it. So fun on open face. This thing's fun from like, I don't know, 10 foot to two foot. It's epic. Back into my dad's boards, pretty much. Polly's. Uh, my dad shapes Orion surfboards here off the East Coast. And 
yeah, I think he's a world-class shaper. He's really underrated. Um, but I try to stay loyal to them, and, and I try to just show the love, keep it in the family, but also, like, I got love for uh, Slater Designs and that whole team over there, Travis Lee, all the boys. Like, I don't know, like, like my friends think too, like, it's so funny. They'll like come and grab a board and they'll like hit it off the wall and they're like, oh, you get your boys for free. And I'm like, bro, like, that doesn't matter. I want to treat them nice, you know? Like, it's funny. It's funny with the, with the homies or whatever, but I try to keep my boards nice, you know? So they treat me back with love. That place is so sick that normally like everybody lands their stuff, right? So like that day, like I fully just cooked. I couldn't even like land a fucking straight air. So I was so rattled. I'm like, I went and floated in the lazy river, had definitely had some beers. And then like Jimmy Kane's like, I like went up on the wall cause I wanted to watch Ian Crane and a couple of the boys surf. He's like, hey Lark, you should jump off this when he does an air, like when he does his air, but like, you know, he'll be able to land and Whatever, so it's Ian, like Ian takes off on his wave and I think it's like the wave that he needed to like get in the final, right? But I don't know that, I was just like, I wasn't paying attention. And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll do it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much an idiot, I'll do that. <laughs> so I jump off into the thing and like somehow Ian's air, like the way he projected, like caught up with me. I swear to God, we didn't touch. But like, they all like, I guess the O'Neill guys were all there and like, they all like fully were like tripping like, they touched, he ruined his landing. Cause Ian like, like partially made it, but didn't. And dude, I was like, bro, I was just being, having fun. Like I was being funny. I wasn't trying to like ruin, sabotage Ian. So like, but he didn't care and he was cool. But uh, I don't know, like it was like something that was gonna be funny and it kind of like backfired. So I hope Crano wasn't bummed or anybody, any of the O'Neill guys being bummed. I wasn't trying to do that. I thought somehow. Ian had actually like landed inside the bubble. It's the first acid uh, drop, first acid uh, drop of the event. And not even there, but like in a while. I haven't done like anything cool in a while where I'm like, oh, that was like proper. Like, and I'm critical. I'm like already like I'm I'm so like OCD that I like hate everything I already do. You know? Yeah, I haven't done anything sick in a while. Beatmaker da canto. I don't remember the year, but it was over like 10 years ago, 10 plus. And I was up in Santa Cruz, um, surfing for the Coldwater Classic. We paddled out at like right when it was kind of getting dark at this little beach break, beach break wave. I got nailed by a, a great white shark just like out of nowhere. It, it instantly broke my board and instead of like me launching, it was like the board broke. Oh, look, easy to find, it's right here. My mom did save it the camera, but see how the fin's kind of like suplexed a little bit, like has stress. It just, it hit so hard and abrupt that it just pretty much just went ka -king. The thing was trying to eat me. I've had a couple of Vistla trips come up where they're like, yeah, we're gonna go up, up north, like OB and that. And I'm just like, fuck that. You guys go have fun. Everybody's like, oh, you've already been attacked. You won't get attacked again. And I'm like, okay, so let's just go jump in the fish tank with it again. Like just swim around. Yeah, for sure. It sounds smart. This board saved my life pretty much. <laughs> So I got lucky.